Hello everyone, this is Sadakar. In this video, we will see how to work with a pie chart and how to convert a pie chart into a journal chart. For this demonstration, I am going to use sample superstore database, navigate to sheet 1 and from the dimensions section, take subcategory to the row shell and take sales from the measures to the columns. Now from the show me uh, option, convert this bar chart into a pie chart. Now you can see a pie chart has populated. Now to convert this pie chart into a donut chart, we need to work with uh, two axes. So to generate the two axes, from the measures take number of records to the row shell twice. So this would give one axis. Now do the same for the another axis. Number of records to the row shelf. Now you can see there are two rows created. Now to make these bubbles to look like a pie chart, you need to change this sum function to minimum x maximum. So do it for the these two sections. Select this one and change the function from sum to minimum or maximum select minimum and do the same for the second row now you can see uh, these bubbles are converted into two pie charts now to have the second axis on the second row click select this dual axis now you can see the two pie charts are converted into one pie chart having two axes. At the same time you can see there are two mass cards created for first pie chart and second pie chart. On the second pie chart, take off this subcategory and this angle and sizes as well. You can increase the size of this chart you can remove this axis by selecting and unchecking show header similarly for this one as well okay now move to the first mask card of the first pie chart and on this sizes make it a bit bigger so this way you can convert a pie chart into a donut chart now to get rid of this inner color navigate to the second card and on the colors section make it to white so this way you can convert a pie chart into a donut chart now to add labels to these slices from the first mark card in the label section put this subcategory. Now you would see the labels are populated to the pie chart. Now to add percentages or the values for these slices drag this sales to the first mark card label option. So this way you can convert a pie chart into a donut chart and you can have this label sign values are populated. So moreover if you want to have the percentages displayed next to these values or labels you can select the sales from the first marker label and from the quick table calculation select percentage of total. So this way you can have labels and percentages for a pie or a donut chart. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, we will meet in next one. Thank you.